Hi, I'm Gloria Capola, a continuing education provider. Today I'm here to talk about chakras. What are they? Well, the word chakra is actually an ancient Sanskrit word from the yoga traditions in India, meaning a wheel of energy or a disc. The chakras align along our spine, the seven major chakras align along our spine, starting down at the base of our spine, the coccygeal bone, coming all the way up and through our spine, all the way through to the top of our crown. There are hundreds and possibly thousands of chakras within our system, many which lie right in our hands as well. We are going to be addressing the seven major ones in this series of little mini clips. I have personally trained with author Anadea Judith of Eastern Body, Western Mind, and she also wrote a fabulous workbook called The Sevenfold Journey, which I highly recommend. And if you purchase it, you'll follow along with me in these video clips and see some of the tools and tips to bring your chakras in balance. I also have done workshops and traveled on a journey to Egypt with Carolyn Mace, author of Anatomy of Spirit. So I highly recommend both of these authors for your journey in the chakras. The chakras are also uh, resonating to different colors. For instance, our root chakra, which is at our coccygeal bone, that's our first chakra, resonates to the color red. The second one, as we come up to where our navel region is and just below that, resonates to the color orange. As we come up a little higher, right by our diaphragm, this is our solar plexus or our third chakra, and that is the color yellow. As we come into our heart chakra, we've got the color green. Into the throat for communication, we've got the color blue or turquoise. Then we come up into our third eye, which is an indigo, and up to the crown, which varies depending on the readings to a violet or a white. The chakras align along the spine are also affecting our nerves and all our different systems from the neural nervous system to the endocrine system, digestive, breathing, and procreation. Chakras affect us physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, and spiritually. So we'll be talking a little bit about all of this and we'll use some tools on how to bring ourselves into better alignment because our chakras are constantly changing. They can be in a certain position, in a certain energetic space in one moment, and then something can affect you in your life, whether it's through a relationship or a situation or an environment, and change how those chakras are functioning in your body. We would love for them to be in balance all the time, but there is so many factors affecting them. So the more that we can bring them into balance, the better we're going to feel on all levels. So it is my intent to help you gain a basic understanding of the chakra system and what it does for you. There are people that We'll do trainings in chakra balancing if you're interested in that. But let's start at the beginning and just learn what they are, what each one stands for, how it affects you, why it might be creating certain symptoms in your body, and maybe some things that you can do to balance them. So stay tuned for more of these video clips as we work through and take our own journey through the chakra system. Thank you for joining me today.